Hey everyone, it's Editing Mason here. Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI. So, um, why are you hearing Editing Mason right now? Well, that's because, um, while I was recording the first, like, three minutes of this episode, my, uh, audio, my mic settings on my OBS wasn't, um, I don't know, it wasn't set to my microphone, so that was weird. I do notice it afterwards, so basically, I'm here doing the intro. So welcome back to some more Dragon Quest XI in the previous episode. We started off the game, we climbed up this mountain for a coming of age ceremony, and now that we've finished it up, we have been uh, told that we are the reincarnation of Luminary, whoever the fuck that is, and we have to go to the King of Heliodor and talk to him and figure out what our destiny is or some crap like that. Um, so anyway, I'm just here just like vibing. I heard all about it from your mother. She said there's an important journey you have to make and you're just a youngster. Before you head off, make sure you visit the shop. Uh, how old is our character? Because if he's coming of age, he has to be like an adult. I don't know. I always just like assume like, oh, this lad has to be like 16 or something. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do this quest. Deary, deary me, what am I going to do? So this is a young Mason. You came along at just the right time. You got your ass, you see? The other day I was playing my lad. You know, messing around as you do. Well, anyway, he got this furry feather that he loves, and the fool I am, I managed to let it blow away. Luckily, the wind only blew it as far as the roof of your shed. I go get myself, but I'm not too good with highs, I'm afraid. Anyway, I know you're a brave young fellow. I was wondering if you mind climbing up there and uh, get back from it. We actually did this in the last episode, so this is an easy quest to uh, complete. I knew you helped me out. You always pay attention to the priest said in church. Wait, I'm religious in this game? The fuck? You know, that's so about being kind to others. You're a fine fellow. Now, there's no time to lose. My son's desperate to get his beloved featherback. Hurry on over to your shed. I'm sure you've climbed onto your shed fair <laughs> times. And, um, I just go ahead and just, like, do that real quick. I do a little jump. There you are, Mason. You have the feather. Give it to me. And, um, uh, here's the sleeping hiccabus in return. Um, we got the sleeping hiccabus. Oh my god, fucking TikTok phone. Um, and now he's just basically telling us, uh, the tip that, uh, allows you to, uh, know where Cyprus are. It's basically with, um, a purple dot over them, or something or another, so that's pretty dope. Um, anyways, uh, the kind of others, kind of you, and, um, here we are. We finally completed our first quest. Now, I'm not sure I'm gonna do all the quests in this Let's Play, but, um, I'll try to do as many as I can. I haven't done all of them my first playthrough, and I think this is the chance... The timeline right now where I figure out that my OBS mic settings weren't picking in. So let's go back to present Mason. Okay, that was just so weird. Um, for the past three and a half minutes, my fucking mic wasn't, my mic settings wasn't enabled. So for the first part, I'm probably just going to ad lib it because I, okay, well that's odd. Um, anyway guys, um, let's go up north because that's where we have to go. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm actually so annoyed that happened. Like, I just looked at my OBS settings and I just noticed my mic wasn't picking up and I'm like, oh, for God's sakes. I know you guys are thinking, you really record audio off of the OBS? I'm basic, okay? Leave me alone. I just started recording on OBS, like, last year. You gotta give me some time to figure out the rest of this stuff. So this is it. My little soldier is really leaving. I might not be back for a while. I'm going to say your goodbyes. Uh, <laughs> off you go then. Yeah, I said all my goodbyes. I talked to like a whopping three people. One day you're just a little boy. The next you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. <laughs> to think. It's been so many years already since old Chalky found you floating in... I <laughs> mean, since he brought you to Cobblestone. We never thought there was anything out of the ordinary about you. And now suddenly there's all this talk of luminaries of all things. I don't know what the fuck a luminarium is. I'm just gonna go try to figure out what you it is. You know who the luminary was, of course. A legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. <laughs> We're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? <laughs> I don't doubt old Chalkney, of course, but it is a little hard to swallow, I must say. Oh, when you meet the King of Heliodor, put in a good word for old Cobblestone, won't you, eh? <laughs> I got you. If he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, just crack my there might be something in it for us. <laughs> if you catch my drift. Oh, you are 
terrible. Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out of it. No, oh, no, I'm only joking, of course. The very thought. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Ah, yes. Now, the fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. Take this map of Erdria with you. May it prove useful in finding your way. Okay, thank you. Let's go ahead and pull up my lip chat. I got a map. Holy. Oh, oh. And may this magnificent steed, the pride of cobblestone, lighten your burden and speed you on your way. Hell yeah. Get myself a You'll horse. find Heliodor easily enough. Just head north out of the village and follow your nose. <laughs> you travel safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy. Such a good boy. Are you talking to your you son or a dog? Down, you? And come back safe. Shut up. Wait. Oh, you're not uh, weird again. Here, take this with you. I, I made it for you. Hey, thank you. It'll keep you safe. I heard there are lots of monsters where you're going. Be sure to keep it close, won't you? Oh, I don't know what's in store for you out there. But wherever you go and whoever you meet, don't don't forget us, will you? Take care and remember, we'll be waiting for you. Okay. More to fun thing, fun times. Ugh. That's what I like about this game. You get a horse and you can just travel quicker. Horses are an incredibly convenient way to cover large amounts of ground very little time, but sometimes you'll have to enter areas that can only be explored on foot. Don't despair though, a ring on one of the many sunny bells dotted around Erdia will bring your faithful friend Galvin back to your side. Yay! Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and equip whatever the fuck Gemma gave me. Uh, good luck charm. Um, chance of being the goal reduced by 30%, curse. Okay, that's actually pretty decent. Um, alright. Let's go. I'm definitely gonna have to play on my OBS, cause, uh, like it keeps stating, um, the capture card has a bit of delay. Is there anything here? Um, oh, there actually seems to be something here. Hear that? Narrowing! Um,. I can actually parkour on this. Little T pose. Okay. Um, no fucking around. Um, we need to. There's no one in the party. I'm literally solo. You could also just encounter dudes like this. There we go. I do want to get a couple levels before we uh, enter Heliodor. And I'm hoping that the uh, experience thing that I have will uh, help me with that. All right, so let's go ahead and beat some of these games. I like this game. I love this game. But I'm gonna say this like episode two. The battle themes are a bit underwhelming. Like, uh, okay, go live. That's my only complaint about this game. Like it's story, like it's gameplay. It's hard when it wants to be hard. But my only complaint is the battle music sucks. But we're literally like episode two, and we've only heard like two battle themes already. This theme and the mini boss theme, which is basically a rehash version of this theme. There we go. 
Okay, level four. Um. Okay, I think there might be stronger boys up ahead, so we need to just head north through the bridge. And, uh. I think it's been a while since I played kind of one of these uh, turn based RPG games. I mean, I did play SMT5, like, or three. I mean, I played it like a couple months ago. Oh! I got some of these guys. The, uh, cool combo fight. So yeah, my, the cool thing about this game is that uh, there's like two different like types of battle modes, like free roam where you just like run around, reposition yourself, and the other is just traditional, just fixed. Back attack you. Okay. There we go. Flap. Oh man, I'm not really getting a whole lot of experience with these guys. Alright. Hello. There's only like four of them and three of them fighting. I am outnumbered. But they only do like a couple health to me and some of them suck. Okay. Really not doing a lot. Oh my god, this is not good. Okay, I might have to bring up the magic. Um. Oh, that actually does damage. Like a lot of damage. Okay, nine points of damage is literally kicking. No, you're not supposed to do that to yourself. Don't do it. Okay, you're dead. You died. You, you, you are dead. Easy victory. Make some additional herb. I'm gonna kill more of you guys. Hello. I definitely would like to say I probably would have had a better weapon, but this is literally the only weapon I'm, I have at the moment. There we go. Um, okay, I'm gonna be mindful of my health. I can't- I don't have a healing spell yet. But there is a camp up ahead. And these things are actually pretty cool. Oh, hold on a sec. I love these things a lot. <laughs> what have we here? I know a budding adventurer when I see one. It can be risky heading into the great outdoors if you aren't familiar with the basics of survival, you know. Well, fear not, because that's where I come in. See the remains of that fire over there? Well, when you spy one of those, it means you can set up camp and rest your weary bones. To settle down for the night, just go up to the fire and examine it. You'll soon be enjoying a well-earned break. What's that? You're worried about being attacked by monsters while you sleep? Oh, ye of little faith! That statue over there is chock full of holy powers that'll keep the beasties at bay for as long as you need. And that's not all. You can pray to it to be cured of poison and all kinds of other things. Think of it as a mini church. Anyway, enough of my yammering. Why don't you take a closer look at all this camping kit for yourself? You'll need to get used to what campsites look like and how to find them. After all, you'll be relying on them whenever you're out in the wilderness. It's like my old dad always said. Keen campers can continue on where others can't. Be prepared. Well, that's all from me. If you have any camping-related queries, feel free to ask. I'm here all the time. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Thanks for that. Um, basically, this is like a free safe zone. Go over here, settle in for the night. Uh, rest. Um, well, we could just like rest, save, and then there will always be like the merchant, which will have like items. So this is actually pretty sick. I do like this. All right. Um, I think every one of them will have a horse. Level 4, um, I'm pretty sure we'll at least make it to level 5 and 6 before, uh, 
Or at least by the time we... By the time we make it there. Is it like some of these weirdos? Oh my god, I just yeeted him into the sunset. What the? Are these polytoads? Hello? Now they're called toadies. I'm gonna beat your ass. Oh, if my strength stat sucks, die. Oh, this one's a bit... Oh, I got toppled. Oh, well, that's no bueno. Okay, well, Helidor is literally right... Oh, hello. Helidor is literally right up there, so... Oh, we're pepped. Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect to get pepped up this early on, but... If the characters attack a lot or undergo certain other trials and tribulations, they eventually enter a nerve state being known as pepped up, which boosts all their martial might for a while. Then lasts forever. After several turns pass, they'll lose their glow and go back to their normal selves. However, any characters who are pepped up in battle, uh, when a battle ends, will be so... And uh, strikes. Or, yeah. These are pretty cool little tidbits. Oh, I'll be uh, a bit more wary. I say that, yeah, and I go up to one of these fright bulbs. I guess kind of like consider it as being like psyched up in that psych up stage. And you like psych up to like 100. Because there literally is, like, no option to do that. No one in this game can learn, uh, Psych Up. Eh, just a little bit on the rippy-dippy side, but that's what it is. Alright, here we are. Um... Heliodor. There is something right here. Speaking of which, there's an ass of dudes here. That. Medicinal herb and... Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff here. Alright, we are literally, we literally just arrived. Let me in, damn it. I should probably check some, I should probably check the armor. I mean, I don't really want to, I don't really want to, like, uh, yeet off my, uh, current armor because I just want to gain a little more experience, but, uh, when, I guess when I need to, I need to. Here we are, Heliodor, and uh, well, we just need to go to the front gate. Um, might as well go ahead and check to see what, some, what type of quests people want around here. Um, hello. I'm merely stuck in the roof, she won't come down, someone help me. Merely stuck in the roof, you have to help. I got kitty litter. <laughs> Forgot about this quest. It's one where you're like, do I really want to help, or do I just want to progress in the main story? Um, I do believe there should be some interesting chests around here that might actually be of use. Uh, armor. Armor, what do you got? Another shield, I feel like I can find one soon. Uh, I think I'll just... chill out on some of the weapons for now, but I'll see what I got. Copper sword and copper chopper, I don't really want that. Uh, I'll just save my money when I need it later on. Might as well check out, uh, what this guy wants. Hello. Come all the way to Helidor with one mind to catch a glimpse or two of the greatest heroes of all of history, Sir Jasper and Sir Hendrik. The only problem is, they won't let me into the castle. Can you believe it? Well, if I'm not going to get to meet them in person, I suppose I'll have to buy my time by reading up on them instead. You know, if you want to earn my eternal gratitude, uh, you could help me find a book about the exploits of those two fabulous knights. Sure, I will. You know, there's a book about it somewhere. Taking a look around the west to say so I should head east. Okay, I'm going to find a book about Jasper and Hendrick. Make sure to come back and tell me all about it, won't you? Good luck! The Soldier and the Strategist, a tale of two heroes. I don't really remember where it is, but it should be uh, down this way, maybe? Hold on. I'm just going to go just rob houses. Anything in here? Nope, nothing in here. Nothing 
there is a ladder here. Uh... Oh, hello. And there's one of these things. Ah, mini metal. Classic. How was that a cat to? Oh, oh, there it is. I mean, I guess I think it is. Hello? Cats probably see seems to be stuck on the. Doesn't look like it. Oh, bye. I love that I just like drop down right in front of a guard and he doesn't care. Okay, maybe it might be in this house. Because there's not really a lot of houses that we can. Go into. I just noticed something interesting. The cheek. That's private. What does that mean, the cheek? I don't know. Alrighty. We'll just we'll just we'll just vibe with that, I guess. Um. Okay, looks like there's a little parkour spot here. Do 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 do. Climbing the animation just looks so bizarre. I am the best type rope artist. Or whatever the fuck it is. What the fucking hell is up here? Oh, I guess another way we could get up there. Um, anything of interest over here? Nope. I don't really know where, uh... Whoa, 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 I... Didn't want to toggle in, uh, auto run. Keep thinking the sprint button is holding down the, uh... Left analog stick. Okay, this has to be the house that has the, um... The book required. Um, yes. Here we are. The soldier and the strategist. No matter how ferocious the assault the monsters may launch against Heliodor, like, this great kingdom shall not fall, for two heroic figures will stand in the path of any attacker. The first is Sir Hendrick, a warrior without equal. Countless times has he ridden his colossal black seed obsidian fearlessly into the heart of an oncoming assault, scaring the enemy like like so many leaves. He is a chivalrous to a fault, and considered by many to be the greatest swordsman in the world, even the vilest. Most towering troll dare not stand its ground with face with his whirling greatsword. The second half of this galley duo is the shrewd and ingenuous Sir Jasper. Regarded as the sharpest military mind of the age, he has led heavily on number forces to glory victory again and again. Though as a swordsman, he may be no match for Sir Hendrick. His ability to analyze any battlefield and will quickly arrive at the ideal strategy for a situation at hand is unrivaled. With these two great men, the swordsman and the strategist, to protect it, Helidor need fear to no fail. Oh, interesting. I'll definitely go ahead and do that. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Beta mail. Okay, after done doing whatever the hell I did. Um oh. My favorite thing in these games is to just Oh, okay, we actually have a something here. Down and out in downtown Hellendor. Uh, in the last month's issue, we shed some light on the lesser known highlights of Hellendor's historic city. This month, we'd like to take a moment to talk about the diverse downtown district. This line comes with defensive terms. Plus, uh, uh, uh. has attracted a whole host of colorful characters, so it seems to be a sussy place. Downtown Hellendor circled with crime is no secret, but for some thrill seekers, off of excitement, find them nowhere else. Do you dare to take a walk on the wild side? Uh, I, I accidentally wrote that. Um, Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give this. Uh, go ahead and complete some quests. You did it! You got Millie off the roof. Take this kitty litter. I don't even know what the. F Wait, I can climb down chimneys. Does that mean I'm Santa? Huh, easy victory. Oh, hello there. You can tell from the look in your eyes you found that book. Go on, tell me what it said. 
Was that Sir Hendrix the mightier swordsman? But Sir Jasper is a peerless military tactician. I've heard as much, and between the two of them, they made Heldor a nigh on unbeatable military force. Well, I never fancy that. Glad you share that with me. I feel a lot closer to my heroes, and I feel a lot safer knowing they're around to protect Heldor. Thanks so much for lending me. I may not have met them, but this is the next best thing. Here's a little something to say thank you. I don't even know what the hell that does. Yeah, go through any uh, red book. Red. <laughs> go through any like red colored book, and you're like golden. You like find tidbits and recipes and all that jazz, you know. Anyway, um, we need to go ahead and uh, talk to the king and figure out what we need to do. Excuse me, guards. Can I come in? Not so fast. Did you literally have to wait until I was like at the last minute? State your business. I want to meet the king. Th and that's it. Oh. <laughs> Here, shake my hand, mate. That's the funniest one I've heard all week. Does that mean I can come in? Clear off, will ya? We haven't got time for this kind of nonsense. <sighs> all right, let me go ahead and break out this. Okay. Oh, yeah. ah. Do you lads know what this What's is that? that? You want to show that pendant to the king, you say? Ah. Uh -huh. Do you mind waiting here a minute? Okay. Huh? Ever so sorry for that little misunderstanding. Please, go right on through. His Majesty's waiting for you. Okay. Pleasure doing business with you, lads. Lost, confused, can't wait, figure out what to do next. Don't panic, you and I for pink speech bubbled homies. Um. All right, so we successfully made it in. Nice. Now let's just go ahead and uh, I guess hop in through the main door. Why is there so many lads here? Hello? I come in pepperoni pizza. Why is everyone looking at me so sussy like? That will be quite close enough. Welcome to Heliodor Castle, friend. Sup? The Jewel of Dundrasil. You are bold indeed to have made your way here alone, Wanderer. I am Carnelian, ruler of Heliodor. How long have I waited for this day? And now, finally, we meet. Truly, it is an honor. The fact that you come here proffering the jewel and asking to speak with me personally would suggest that you know something of your true nature. Yeah, something like that, I guess. I take it that you also bear the mark? Oh, that's so cool, thing. <sighs> yes, the mark of light. Then there is no doubt, you are he. Rejoice, dear subjects. The day is upon us at last. The luminary walks among us once more. Uh, do I cheer too or do I just vibe? Tell me, O oh luminary. Yes. Where exactly is it that you hail from? I would so very much like to pay tribute to those who took you in and raised you. Mason tells King Carnelian he was raised in the village of Cobblestone. I see. Cobblestone, you say? Jasper, you know of this place? I do, my liege. A village of provincial nobodies Oof. in the rocky south. 
Then I take it you know what to do. Do not disappoint me. Yes, my liege. Stop, big man. A cursed luminary. I know not what your intent was in coming here alone, but whatever your wicked scheme, know that it shall not succeed. Hey, what? Oh, well, shit! Hendrik, take this cur, this harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon. What, what the fuck was the start about, dude? Know this. The luminary is the root of all evil and will bring naught but misery to our realm. And why is this? The reason is simple. Just as light is intertwined with darkness, so too is the luminary intertwined with the dread lord of shadows. His coming heralds the resurrection of the Dark One. Okay, why are you going to kill me though? Did you really think you could fool one as wise as his majesty? It was your great misfortune to confront one who knows your true nature. What do you mean? Man, seize this wretch! Okie dokie, I guess. Well, I guess I'm fucked. Uh, even before playing this game, I knew something like this would happen just based on watching the trailers. Yeah, we, we shouldn't have come here. Never should have come here, as the Skyrim lads would say. Hey, chill. Are you taking me? Hey, gentle, I'm a fragile boy. <sighs> Great. You claim to hail from Cobblestone. Well, before the sun has set three times, we shall know the truth. By then, Jasper will have returned from his investigation. If I were you, Dark Spawn, I would not expect to live beyond that day. Hmm. God damn it. <laughs> A hero of chains. A boy from fulfilling your duty and traveling Helidor Castle, only to be damned as a dark spawn and thrown into the dungeons by King Carnelian. Well, we have no gear. I'm. They didn't even decide to heal me up, and now we're in here because the luminary is accursed or some shit. Cut it out. Oh oh. Okay. I thought I would have to break these things to... To progress. No, I can just... Bang on the door. Sheesh, keep it down, will you? There goes the neighborhood. Will you keep it down in there? Most folks they throw in here have the decency to wait a while before going stir-crazy. I have claustrophobia. I'm already going stir-crazy. What are you in for, anyhow? You don't get free bed and board down here without having done something pretty bad. <laughs> oh, get a load of this. You would never believe it. Wait, did you say the luminary? You're serious? I know, right? It's bullshit. <sighs> You're telling me the luminary has just shown up in the cell next to mine. This is crazy. Fuck. One plate of delicious gruel for the gentleman in the dungeon suite. Come and get it. <laughs> the fuck did you punch him through like plate mail, my guy? Did, like get him in the nuts? Ooh. 
Yeah, you want to get me out, my guy? Oh. Yeah, I think I'm a finna just head back. The luminary. You're serious? Yup, that's me. So it's all happening just like the seer said it would. We'd better get out of here. Easy. So you got a plan? Huh? How the fuck do you hear that from here? Wait here. Don't worry, I didn't kill him. But he won't be waking up anytime soon. Things should get pretty hairy up ahead. You'd better take this. Hey. I need that. Oh, and I found this in a corner over there. I guess it's your stuff, right? Hey. Me? I got this little beauty back. So now I'm pretty much unstoppable. We better get out of here before any more of our tin-headed friends come knocking. Hollow when you're ready to move out, okay? Well, looks like I got my shit back. Um, well, I don't really want- I feel uncomfortable moving past here, so... Let's get vibing. I spend ages digging this hole, and you just happen to show up the day I finish it? Heck of a coincidence. Guess I really was meant to help you out, just like the seer said. Anyway, there'll be time to talk about all that later. In you go! No way, ladies first. Okay, never mind, I guess I am getting out of here for free. The sewers, huh? Well, there must be a way out somewhere. Lead the way. I got your back. Okie dokie. I guess I'll just head in this direction. Alright. Well, now we got ourselves a buddy. Um. Okay, I can literally talk to him from here. I don't get it. So it's all happening just like the seer said it would. <laughs> Come on. Let's get out here before they clock those empty cells. All right, let's move. Um, can't sprint. Um, literally in the sewers. Uh, there's a door there. We literally won't be able to uh, come back and open that up until way later on the, in the series. Um, yeah, with all these doors, we literally can't open them up. So we just just walk by them. Yeah, that way's blocked. And why are the guards patrolling the sewers? Over here. Huh? Yes, it does kind of make sense. Damn it! We better make ourselves scarce. Yep. Or we could fight, you know. Yeah, they're gonna chase us for a hot minute. Yeah, at least they're not like. Overpowered. We can literally beat the ass if we wanted to. Right. Snuff that torch out and follow my lead. That guard has no vision whatsoever. So th this one doesn't either. Follow my lead. Oh shit! I was hoping I could at least like back attack him, but. That's fine. Okay, at least I'm not tough, tough to take down. We can really just take him down like that. I really feel like I'm facing myself because he has like the same animations as me. Clapped. Follow my lead. 
I'm, I'm with you, mate. We can get across that bridge. I think that torch is gonna go and check it out. Yeah, yeah this is good. Uh, these guys don't give up, do they? They don't have a good payroll. We love infrastructure. Seriously? Let's hope they don't. Uh, I think we're good. None of them look like they tumbled towards our vicinity. Huh, easy. I feel like I need to have more motion through this. Up, uh, and we are dead. <sighs> Where the fuck did we end up to? Don't worry, I'm alive. I just won't go to bed. Wish I never got. I wish I never got okay? bed today. Looks like we shook the guards at least. Oh, there's a church. Speaking of which, I haven't seen. And that yet. looks like a way out. Maybe our luck's about to change. Actually, I think this might be good enough timing to end the episode if we can uh per if we could just stop right here and it's looking to be it unknown well i think this is a good enough spot as any to end off today's episode um i am a bit injured so that's gonna be a bit of an issue but anyway guys thanks for tuning in to for today's episode of let's play uh dragon quest 11 in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and try to get the hell out of here with, uh... <sighs> Man, I thought we were done for when that bridge collapsed. Now, we need to find ourselves an exit and get out of here. With this guy. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out, lads. Hey, I made an entire episode without an error overload. Fuck yeah.